I'm Danielle. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And right now we're going to be doing Spider-Man. So I am taking some Vaseline on Q-tips and just going over the sides of my head because I like to make sure that the bald cap has a little bit of stickiness to it. So that's why I like to use the Vaseline first. And then I kind of adjust the bald cap where I see fit. Now I'm gonna be taking some Elmer's washable glue to block out my eyebrows. I like to put on a thicker coat. Now I'm taking some Mayron Color Set Powder and just creating a layer over top of the glue that I just did. Taking some Mayron liquid latex, this one dries clear. I always start in the front of my bald cap to make sure that the front is nice and laid down properly and then I work my way down the sides. Whoops! I accidentally cut my bald cap where my ears are because I completely forgot we were doing a Spider-Man look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, it's okay. So right now I'm taking an eyebrow pencil and I'm just kind of marking out where Spider-Man's eyes are. I like using kind of a darker pencil just so I can see the lines and the face paint easily covers this up so I never worry about it showing through. Now I'm going in with my white Mayron Paradise Paint face paint and just painting my little heart away with what the lines I just created. So these are going to be Spider-Man's eyes and I do paint over my eyelids. If you're not comfortable doing that, you don't have to, but it definitely completes the look, I think. You can see a little section of my bald cap next to my eye isn't laid down, but I do end up gluing that down later in the video. Taking some red Mayron face paint and just going over the whole top of my bald cap and then I work my way down my face and then I carefully outline where the white is. That's why I like to lay the white down first in a look because once you start laying down your darker colors, it's easier and it makes it so that the white doesn't like turn pink or you know whatever so that's why I start with the white and then I work my way with the red paint and if I'm not mistaken I think this one is called berry something from Mayron it's not the direct red color I think this is the berry something color <laughs> I don't remember what it's called I'm sorry
My neck always takes a couple layers just because, you know, you have those wrinkles in your neck and I don't like it when it creases, so I always make sure to do a couple extra layers. So continuing to paint down my body, I'm kind of marking out where the rest of the Spider-Man uniform is gonna go. So you'll see like as I'm painting the red, I kind of make different sections to where I'm gonna paint the blue later. Almost there. Now I'm taking the, my black Mayron Paradise paint and I'm creating the spider webs. This part can get kind of tricky when creating the lines in your nose, but I'm looking at a reference photo of Spider-Man, so it's a little bit easier for me. So this first line is just literally going straight down my face. Then I'm outlining the white. And then from there, we're gonna keep going with that spider web action. So I start the web with the center, kind of like the bridge of my nose. And then I start making lines up. And I'm kind of working off every single line, if that makes sense. So you'll kind of see the pattern that I do when creating these webs. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then starting from the top of my head, I start to create the more curved lines for the web. When I go to the next section, I'm mapping where the other lines are at and just connecting them all the way down. eyeballing it and seeing like which lines look good and where some of those other random lines are gonna go and kind of same with my nose as I'm working down my nose I kind of connect the similar ones and then you'll see me adding some random ones later on do the same around my mouth and on the sides of my face around my lips It really helps to look at a reference photo when doing any kind of face paint or cosplay, just so you can kind of get more accuracy and see where some of these confusing lines might be. <laughs> I think it's turning out pretty good so far. I was actually really happy with this makeup because it didn't take too long and even though the lines were kind of annoying, there was a sense of like calmness to doing this. So here I'm mapping out my shoulders and again, like kind of where the, the rest of the uniform is gonna go. And these thicker lines is more for shading purposes to make it look more comic-y or cartoonish. Just deepening up some of these lines. Finishing up the connecting webs. On the sides back here, I'm creating more of that kind of shading and then deepening up my neck. 
just to give the look a little bit more dimension. And then here, I'm going to be outlining the rest of the uniform and where the blue is gonna go on the open spaces where my skin isn't painted yet. Here I'm creating the spider because, you know, he's Spider-Man. It's kind of hard to see where I'm painting, I apologize, but I am a female <laughs> and I am wearing a bandeau top, but it gets kind of hard to show you like how far down I'm actually going. I don't want to flash anybody. Here I'm just drawing the legs and finishing up the spider. Creating a few more lines around the breastplate of the uniform. Now these lines got a little bit tricky, so I was really trying to pay attention to the reference photo and where these lines are actually going, but for the most part I'm pretty much kind of guessing what looks good and what doesn't look good and where I think the line should be placed at this point, especially around the spider where it gets a little confusing. Now I am working with the blue. So this is a blue shade from Mayron Paradise Paints. Again, I'm sorry, I don't remember like which actual blue this is. And just filling in the arms and the sides of my uniform. And I usually don't paint all the way down my arms. It usually depends on the type of look I'm doing, but this is like three quarter sleeves for me. Here I am taking some white Mayron Paradise paint and I'm creating more web-like strokes. So it serves as, you know, highlighting for a comic-y feel and then kind of slashes of webbing gives the look a little bit more character. And then I throw a little white on the legs of the spiders for highlighting. Creating some thicker white lines for dimension. And then I'm taking a yellow eyeshadow and I'm kind of randomly going over different spots on the suit. And this is again kind of creating a little bit more character and highlights and just kind of breaking up that flat paint a little bit, if that makes sense. And that's pretty much the end of the look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and check out my other videos on the sides. Bye guys.
Thank you.